Yes, people, wife of boy, and I am here live reacting to the World Cup draw for Qatar 2022. Now, I'm going to be honest, I skipped to pot four because the rest of it was boring. The show was boring, but we're finally here completing all the groups. I'll react to every single one of them one by one as they get completed. I've got the pots over here somewhere, somewhere here. But yeah, so that you'll see all the pots in terms of group right now. Group A, Qatar, Senegal, Netherlands. Group B, England, Iran, USA. Group C, Argentina, Mexico, Poland. Group D, France, Denmark, Tunisia. Group E, Spain, Germany, Japan. Group F, Belgium, Morocco, Croatia. Group G, Brazil, Serbia, Switzerland. And Group H, Portugal, Uruguay and Korea. And they're about to pull out the teams to complete the group. Starting with Group A. Let's see what my man pulls out. I mean, this is great group for Senegal and Netherlands already. Like, out of all the pot one teams, you got Qatar. That is the best one. And to complete the group, you have... I see playoff one. So one of the playoff teams, because unfortunately not all the teams that are in the that are gonna be in the World Cup are in the draw right now. There's still some playoff games to be played. Either way, I don't expect this team to go out the group. If you're on pot four and you make out the group stage, you've done a madness. Like celebrate like you've won the World Cup in your country, honestly, because it's not expected. Either way, it's getting skipped down to group D because of constraints apparently where not the more than one nation same continent can be in the same group for the group stage unless you're in Europe which you can have two but yeah uh, so they'll join group D which will have France that team Denmark and Tunisia a group, definitely group France Denmark tough team don't get me wrong man they made it quite fun Euros Tunisia will be kind of hard but I don't think it's the worst team in the world and obviously this intercontinental playoff team they're pop four they're not expected to be amazing so yeah, I think France will be favourites there. And second team, Denmark, I think it'll be routine for them too. I mean, to be honest, I, I, Tunisia might do a bit of a threat. These African teams normally do, but I can't see it. All right. And for Group A, Ecuador have been pulled out. Ooh, South American team, man. And they will go into Group A, I believe. There shouldn't be any constraints there because they're not in they're not in the same continent as Qatar, Senegal, Netherlands. So yeah, Ecuador Group A. Wow, wow. Good group. Like, this is... A group, don't get me wrong yet, Qatar going to get, uh, literally, everyone's going to say Qatar going to get knocked out. But this is their home World Cup. And their team, I, I pre some of their games, they're actually winning some games in the follow-up. They're probably importing a lot of their players. I'm not going to lie, that. I don't know if any of their players are homegrown Qataris. But either way, if it works, it works. It won't be easy. Like it's their, They're used to the climate, they're used to conditions. Netherlands, Ecuador, Senegal won't be used to the harsh conditions in Qatar. So... Decent for them. Either way, I expect Netherlands and Senegal to get through there, but never count out a South American team like Ecuador. All right, the next one's getting pulled out right now. Saudi Arabia. Big boy Saudi Arabia in the World Cup, man. They're like a 0.5 star team on FIFA, but they made it. And they don't go to Group B, I believe, of England. I think they go to Group C because Iran and Saudi Arabia are in the same continent. Yep, so they're going to Group C. So it's going to be Argentina, Saudi Arabia, Mexico, and Poland. Another good group. Definitely another good group. Argentina, Mexico, and Poland. Good, Three good teams there. Saudi Arabia, they'll just be the whipping boys. Like, everyone, every team will turn them over, I believe. But it's, I believe Argentina will get through that, and I believe Mexico will get through as well. Poland have fallen off a little bit. Like, it's a Lewandowski and, and Prey, to be honest with them. But I do expect Argentina and Mexico to go through. Mexico are a dangerous one, man. The South American teams, you can never count out. Never. No matter what happens, never count out. So, who knows, man. But either way, Argentina should get through that in first position. Alright, the fourth one being pulled out. He's struggling to open the ball, man. He's a bit of a, I don't even know who the guy is, but <laughs> clearly he can't do it. Alright, here we go. I see playoff two. So, another two teams that I have no clue who it's going to be out of. So, so they go into Group E. So they will join Spain, Germany, Japan, and this IC playoff team too. Great group. Group E's juicy, man. Whoever Spain got, because um, whoever Germany got, sorry, because they were in Pot Two, you could tell it was gonna be juicy, man. And they pulled it with Spain, Spain, Germany, and Japan. Now, don't count out Japan. Japan are not a walkover, man. They've got Tomiyasu, my boy. They are not a walkover. They could do some damage. I remember in the World Cup, actually, last year, they did some damage. I think they knocked out Spain or something, I'm not mistaken. So, yeah. 
re replay here japan versus spain either way i do expect spain and germany to go through but japan not a walkover and then you've got the european playoff which will go into part h i believe so the european playoff yes yeah, scotland wales one of them too or ukraine even even we'll go into group oh wait no it goes into group b oh never mind then Okay, so Scotland or Wales could be in the same group as England. England got lucky, man. England finessed it. Iran, USA, and Scotland, Wales, or Ukraine. You could not ask for a better group. They avoided Germany, Netherlands, Senegal. England done really well, man. Honestly, really, really well. There's no excuse for them not to go through. The second team going through, I'm giving it to USA, man. USA have some players. Yeah, they get violated because they call football soccer. But, look, Pulisic ain't no shabby player. Weston McKinney. USA all right, man. Honestly, I think they'll do well. And by the time the next World Cup comes, which will be in USA, I believe, uh, USA, Canada, Mexico, the 2026 World Cup, they'll be even better. Cameroon got pulled next, and they are going into Group G, I believe, because they'll skip Group F. Brazil, Serbia, Switzerland, and Cameroon. Tough group. Wow. Brazil, Serbia, Switzerland, and Cameroon. Bear in mind, Serbia, right? They got through top of the group they actually surpassed portugal to go through automatically portugal had to play turkey and macedonia to go through so that group g is a tough group man like brazil obviously the standout team they're my favorites to win the world cup unbelievable squads they've won it so many times as well they've got that mental edge serbia switzerland and cameroon it'll be a freeway freeway horse race to try and get that second spot because they're all decent teams out of the three of them i'm going to give it to switzerland though i'm just going to give it to i'm going to give them the benefit of the doubt Look at my mom with his flip phone out trying to take a photo. But yeah. Two teams left. Two groups left. <clears throat> so decent groups though right now. Ghana. Which will go into group H I believe. <clears throat> Join Portugal, Uruguay, South Korea. And then finally Ghana. Another good group. Another, another tough group. Portugal and Uruguay should get through. I think them two are the going to set the bar. South Korea will be a test. Like They've got Son. Could do something. Ghana. Got my boy Thomas Partey. But yeah, I don't think they'll have enough. It'll be a bit of a surprise if they do get through. But it's not a, it's not a guaranteed Portugal new guy through. But they are definitely the favourites. <clears throat> and we're going to get into the final group. Group F. To draw that team. Overall though. I'm going to go through the groups right at the end. Once I've pulled them all out. It's the final team now. It's a World Cup in Qatar. It's in December. I'm going to talk about my feelings of it as well. Because it's very controversial. They spent the whole start of the program talking about how it is controversial. And I agree with them. It is in very many facets. <coughs> <coughs> and finally Canada. In group F. To make it Belgium, Canada, Morocco and Croatia. Another tough group. Belgium and Croatia, though, I think are favourites there. But that is all the groups of the World Cup, all eight of them, running through Group A, Qatar, Ecuador, Senegal and Netherlands. Group B, England, Iran, USA and the European Continental Playoff Game. Group C, Argentina, Saudi Arabia, Mexico and Poland. Group D, France, an intercontinental playoff game as well. Denmark and Tunisia. Group E, Spain, the another intercontinental continental playoff two, whatever is a mouthful. Germany and Japan. Group F, Belgium, Canada. Oh, they've just literally removed the, the groups. Well, I, I was watching it, but they just removed it from the screen. Okay, well, they come back. Belgium, Canada, Morocco, and Croatia in Group F. Group G, Brazil, Serbia, Switzerland, Cameroon. And Group H, Portugal, Ghana, Uruguay, and Korea. Some tasty, tasty draws. Let me know your thoughts of the draw in the comment section down below. In terms of the World Cup for Qatar, I'm looking forward to it. I always do look forward to a World Cup, but... I'm I'm not a pessimistic guy, but I am pessimistic about this one in terms of the fact that how it's going to turn out. First of all, it's the first Winter World Cup. I don't know how and who thought that was a good idea. Secondly, the climate. They've literally put it in the winter because it's hot and it's still too hot. There's lots of troubles, controversy around Qatar as a host nation. I think something like 3,500 migrant workers died building the stadiums. Like I know football and the World Cup is massive economically and socially. But it should never football should never be played at expense to human life. So the fact that three thousand five hundred people have died is just way too many. It's three thousand five hundred too many, in fact. So that's another kind of poor side to it. Female rights, 
homosexuality rights, another concern heading to the World Cup. I mean, there's so many talking points. Hopefully it won't overshadow what I hope will be a good World Cup. We only get the World Cup every four years. I always look forward to it. The last one was in Russia. I like that one. My favourite one I was 2014 now in Brazil. That was a beautiful one. But yeah, Qatar 2022. I'm looking forward to it. We now have the official group stage draws. You can get your predictions done. You can get the little um, Sainsbury's, Tesco, whatever, like the posters that give you all the games. But yeah, if you're new and if you enjoy football content, I will be covering the World Cup later down the year. But for now, we've got Premier League, Champions League, all to focus on. I've been White Football, guys. If you enjoyed this, please consider subscribing on my road to 700 and drop a like down below so this video gets out to more people. I've been White Football, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.